All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome into today's lesson. We are going to be working with the same two tracks that we've been using, Stranger and Imagino. We're gonna mix them together, but this time we're gonna add two other concepts. One is called the filter, and two is the equalizer, or the EQ for short. I'm gonna show you how using both of these things can help smooth out the mix. All right, so let's jump in. Um, I've gone ahead and let's load, um, let's load Stranger. Let me go back to my playlist. Um, where did my tracks go? Let's see. All my songs. I'm going to load that onto this deck. So I've got Stranger on the left. I've got Ima Imagino on the right. Cool. Good to go. So first, let's talk about the EQ. So I've got lows and highs. And technically, I've got low, mid, and high. On this mixer here, I've got low and I've got high on the actual hardware itself. But the mid, I've got to be able to control here on the software. Okay, so uh, we can use low, mid, and high and use them differently. And let me show you what it sounds like. This is with everything in here. Let's take out the highs. Or actually, let me jump to a part of the song where it's got everything in it. So I take out the highs, and now all the high frequencies are now gone. All right? Take out the low frequencies. All of the bass and the drums are kind of gone, right? Just feels like it's all not there. And then the mid, I've got my low and I've got my high, but I'm missing the middle section. You'll note that even on the software, if I double click it, it'll bring it back to center. And the original position is straight up and down, that like 12 o'clock mark, right? 12 o'clock, straight up and down. Um, so, we're going to be able to use the EQ to help us mix. And what The reason for this is we've got two things that are happening at the same time. They're being mixed on top of each other. So I've got double everything. I've got double the low, double the mid, double the high. So by using the EQ knobs, I can really smooth this out and make it sound like it's blending together a lot better. Um, so let's try that. Let's uh, come out of Imagino. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Make sure our sync's on. Start to take the low out. Right, so it's gonna smooth out the mix a bit more by using the EQ. So I'm using my low, I'm using the low more than I'm using uh, the mid. That's why it's not even here on the controller. Um, very rarely am I actually using the mid. So in terms of being able to save some space here on the controller um, and keep it more compact, we've removed the mid knob. Um, and really, I don't miss it too much. And if I really need it, I can come in here into the software and change it in there. Now, the knob that was replaced with the mid knob essentially is this next thing I wanna talk about, which is called the filter. Now what the filter will do is um, this full thing is the full uh, spectrum, the full frequency. So listen to this. Okay, so when I'm in the middle, I can feel a notch that's there when I'm in the middle that basically filters off. If I go to the, uh, the right, I'm getting a high pass filter. It's letting the highs pass through. You hear how this sounds very similar? to when I took out I took out my uh, lows and if I take out my mids, it sounds very similar, right? That's letting the highs pass through, the high pass filter. And then the low, low pass filter. It's got a cool sound to it too, right? But this is one knob that is basically giving me high pass or low pass, and I can use this to really help smooth out the mix. So let's try this again. Let's uh, now let's maybe mix them the opposite way. Had the low out.
right? So using the filter to be able to get a lot smoother of mix. Now I could go either low pass or I could go high pass. Now when the track is coming in, I could do that as well. So I could use that as a technique as well. Let's try this again. Got my low pass filter on. Help if I had the crossfader in the middle. <laughs> nice. Cool, so you can play with this and see what sounds good to you. Like use the filter and the EQ to see what sounds good, but this is primarily gonna be used when you're mixing two songs together to get them to blend more seamlessly.